most of the stores are in Kentucky and Indiana. Uh, we have a few in Ohio, around Cincinnati. Every store is really, for the most part, easy to get to. Uh, none of these areas are really known for having congestion or heavy traffic. I know the area really well, so it made it a good fit for me just knowing how to get to the different places. And uh, it keeps me out of the north where it's really cold and snowy right now. <laughs> One of the hardest parts of driving is just knowing what to do when you get to a place, where to check in, what to do. Now, the security staff and the, the check-in staff all know me by face now. Whenever I pull in to check in, I never have issues. I know that the load I'm picking up is going to be ready when they say it's going to be ready. Uh, and that's important to a, to a driver because we don't want to sit around waiting for a, for a load. They've got yard jockeys that load the trailers up. They close them. They seal them. And then the yard jockeys go put it back out there. When we come in, because we're a dedicated fleet, we actually have a center lane that we can go through. So even when the line is an hour long trying to get in, we get moved up to the front of the line so we can keep the product moving out to the stores. I head out Monday morning, uh, usually around 2 a.m. and uh, work through the week. Uh, sometimes I get home Friday night. Sometimes I get home Saturday morning. Um, but, but, but it's every Friday or every Saturday. The thing I, I've really loved about this company is all the FMs, the fleet managers, have been fantastic as long as you communicate with them. If you tell them that you need to take a break, as long as you're communicating that fact, they're fine with you taking a break. You, you, you do what you need to do to be safe. And if you want more mileage, if you want more money, all you got to do is communicate with them and they'll get with the planners and they'll make sure you're getting those miles. Basically, anytime we stop to make a delivery or pick a delivery up on this fleet, we do get paid for that time switching out trailers. And I like getting out of the truck. I like moving. I like stretching my legs, getting a little bit of physical activity. When they say that they are leading the industry in something, especially as, uh, when it comes to driver's pay, I really, you know, I'm, I'm on the driver's pay side of that. And I really believe that. Um and uh, everything from their uh, address to address pay to the stop pay that we get on the fleet, um, I feel like I I make pretty decent money, you know, and, and I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with everything. So on the dedicated fleet, we do a lot of empty miles because we'll we'll take a load from the distribution center to a store, and then we'll take an empty trailer from the store back to the distribution center. Uh, so I think on my last paycheck, actually, I drove more empty miles than loaded. Um, and I got paid for every, every one of them. Overall, my experience with rail uh, concerning home time has been great. It's easy to make plans and, and I don't have to worry about like, like if, if, if I want to do something with someone or have a family gathering, I don't have to say, well, if I'm home this day, I can say, well, yeah, I'll be home Friday. Rails maintenance is top notch too, just along with the, the other aspects of the company. If I can't fix it myself or if they can't walk me through how to fix it, they get somebody out there to wherever I am to fix it, or they route me to a terminal to fix it, or, you know, that they, they care about me getting back on the road. So the earliest we can usually deliver is 6 a.m. And uh, most stores, it's whenever they close. And some of the smaller towns will close at 7 p.m. And there's a couple of, you know, in the bigger city like Indianapolis that are open till nine. Uh, so yeah, it, but typically, so 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. is our time frame. And I personally like to, I get up at six to start my pre-trip. So, um, and then I'm usually getting done by, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the evening. So that's, that's my day. And I really like that because I'm driving mostly during daytime hours. Be safe, get the stuff moved and just be professional. And that's kind of the whole rail business model is, is professional, safe and productive.